This is Distant Replay. True Crime Time here on Distant Replay. I'm Ben George. He is Mike Noto. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, online, distantreplaypodcast.com. And, of course, on YouTube where we have more than 2,000 subscribers. We appreciate everybody's support. We want to continue growing that, so please spread the word. Today's episode is going to be a little bit of change of pace. We always try to tell you a story of, of a former athlete or somebody involved in sports that got involved in crime. This one's going to touch on a story we've already kind of told you. Today we want to provide an update, right, Mike? Yeah, this is the first one that uh, case that I know of that we've covered where there's like updates in real time as far as what's going on with the person that we discussed. So I wanted to go through it a little bit today. Yeah, and he was released from prison. We saw a little spike on YouTube, and we we're like, "Hey, what's going on here?" And now we yeah, see yeah. what happened. So, before we get into like what's happening right now in 2021, let's quickly remind everybody kind of how we got to this point. Yeah. So, who we're going to talk about today is Arch Schleister. Okay, um, he's now 61 years old, and like as Ben said, he's just got out on parole um, from being in prison. Now, Ben, do you remember what his crimes involved or no? Uh, I do, but let's remind all the listeners, Mike. Okay, yeah. So they were gambling. Basically, his crimes all revolve pretty much around gambling. Yeah. And he's had a very serious gambling problem since, like, his teenage years, since his years at Ohio State and early on with the Indianapolis Colts when he was in the NFL. He was in jail on federal fraud charges. He was. We hear. We've heard about this a lot since, like, the advent of online tickets, but he was basically involved in a thing where he was selling tickets – that he didn't, he was selling tickets to events that he didn't have tickets for. Yeah. And was using it as a way to like fraud investors. Okay. So he's in jail for that crime. He became eligible for parole on June 13th and he was released the next day from a prison in Ohio. Okay. As a part of, as a part of his release, he has to, you know, he's on, he's on probation for the next under direct supervision, pretty much for the next five years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's basically a program that is supposed to help him reacclimate to the community. All right. Um, amongst the different, I found this very interesting. He had to sign a contract agreeing to like various guidelines he has to live under while he's out of jail. All right. Yeah. He can't own guns. He can't use drugs. He can't leave the state without notifying his parole officer. But what I found very interesting, Ben, was there's nothing in that contract that says he can't gamble. Okay. And if you know about Arch Leister, Anything he's ever done other than, you know, a criminal activity was all to feed to get money for his gambling habit. Mm -hmm. So a little bit surprising they didn't try to, like, curb that at all as far as him getting involved in that. Now, his release from prison was anything but smooth, as a lot of things have gone, you know, in Arch Leister's life. Right. right? Uh, and there was, a, there was a prosecutor, a guy named Ron O'Brien, who, who didn't want Schleister released. And he said he basically... Once word got out that he was going to be released, his quote was as follows. My advice to anyone coming upon Mr. Schleister is that they not engage in any business transactions or any purchases or any other transactions that would involve giving him any money. He's a career criminal engaged in a fraud, engaged in fraud as a career. He just cannot help himself. He will do this the rest of his life. Mm. So pretty strong words, yeah, you know. Not. A guy who's, you know, I think a guy who's been around the block and basically is trying to warn people like, hey, look, I've seen guys like this, like he's not going to stop doing what he does. And what was interesting, Ben, is that even while he was in jail, okay, there was reports. He was supposed to be released on August 18th of 2020. So, you know, last year. Yeah. But there was reports that he was violating prison rules and having... Just months before he was about to be released last year, he was having women outside the prison place bets for him. Man, okay, he was betting other in, he was betting with other inmates, and I guess prison officials kind of pieced together from you know they monitor everything these prisoners do, you know. Yeah, that he was through emails and phone calls. He was he was actually gambling from inside prison. Jeez. So. Um, he was like, you know, they took away his privileges to use email for a period of time while he was in prison. I mean, he, he was about, again, he was about to stop, you know, he's about to, his 11 year sentence was about to end. He got involved in all this stuff and his, and his sentence actually got extended. One thing I was not aware of, and is probably something that's happened since he's been in jail, but his lawyer said 
that he is suffering from diabetes, dementia, and Parkinson's disease. Oh, man, tough. Obviously not to the point, though, where he can't be with it enough. You know, if the gambling stories are true, right? he's still with it enough to gamble, I guess. Or so there's that, people that'll still take his money regardless. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, who knows? Who knows the true story? I would assume someone will interview him. I saw Rex Chapman on Twitter today. Yeah. I guess he has a podcast. Is that correct? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, but he has a podcast, and he says he wants to interview Arch Schleister. So we'll see if he gets an interview with him, you know? Yeah. You know, there. I mean, there's, there, like, again, there's, this, there's, there's even a judge, okay, that who denied him to be released from jail last year in August. This judge plainly says that Schleister is past the point of rehabilitation mm-hmm. and that if if he did get released, it would subject people like in his wake to more criminal criminal conduct. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds and like, like, like just basically prison not doing what it was supposed to do for Arch Schleister. Like he still has seems like a lot of people think he still has the same issues that he had when he entered. Yeah, it sounds like it. I mean, like the guy needs action. No matter what, he's going to find a way to get it. Yeah, right. I mean, it's 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 you hate to boil it down to that. And he's going to. I think the biggest thing has been is it sounds like he's the kind of guy, and by his actions, he's going to do whatever he needs to do to get money to get that action. Right. So, man, that's rough. That's crazy, man. Like his whole story is pretty wild. First one we've got an update on, which is great. Yeah, and if you guys know, so this one again, like Ben said, this one came on our radar because. You know, we can track what videos people are watching and which ones that are not on YouTube. So when one like this gets a big blip, it's like, oh, well, I wonder what happened. So you Google and see, oh, Arch Leister, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So this one came on our radar that way. If you guys know of any cases that we've covered where there's been things, the significant things that have happened since, definitely hit us up with that as well. Yeah, no question. We will uh, we'll do our best to update any, any, kind, of, any kind of parole, anything like that, um, or maybe a cold case as it happens. Um, we'll see. But there's plenty to talk about and plenty to discuss, and I'm looking forward to it. The tri- true crimes are always very interesting and stories that I usually have never heard and not familiar with, so I always learn something new, and I know that uh, our listeners have as well. We've got a lot of good feedback on the true crime stuff. But we also do games. We've got some great games coming up in the pike. Um, as well as some documentary recaps. So please subscribe to the show wherever it is you listen. Also on YouTube, we'd love to have you subscribe there. Give us a like and, and recommend anything that you have on your mind. So we do appreciate it. And uh, you know, a little change of pace, Mike, but it's good to kind of get an update on what's happening here. Yeah, and if you're looking for a little bit more of an overview on not only what Schleister was in jail for, but kind of what he was involved in beforehand, again, we did a full episode um, on his life of crime. We'll link it after the video here on the end screen for you guys. But definitely look into that. And like Ben said, keep those suggestions coming. We'll be at you with a new episode next week. Several new episodes here. We already, we just, to give you guys an idea, we just recorded like three episodes. So we got stuff in the pipeline ready for you. Uh, Thanks as always. Subscribe, like, do everything. Ben says, like I always say. (laughs) And until next time.